for lunch, we're gonna do that triple berry chicken garden salad. I'm really craving it, so I'm really excited for that. Hi friends, <laughs> what's going on? Happy Monday, uh, it's your girl Mel. I'm coming to you live from my office here, right outside St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, it is Monday, it is ready to rock and roll. I've already got this week started off way better than I did last week, so that is an improvement. Um, and I'm super excited to just talk to you guys real fast about my plan for the week. Talk to you about what we have going on this week, and then um, I want to share with you guys what I'm grateful for this morning. I am so, so grateful for a lot of things. Um, and I just dropped this message into my team chat, and I was like, I need to go live and, and tell everybody about this. But I'm really excited to be here with you guys. It's been a crazy few weeks. So with that being said, I did post my meal plan last night. We are gonna be cheating some this week. We're gonna enjoy my brother's company. He loves St. Louis food, so there's a few nights where we're going to enjoy some St. Louis food, and I'm not gonna be nervous about it. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm in a lifestyle journey. This is life-changing for me. I was able to drop 100 pounds in eight months following Lazy Keto. Lazy Keto is how I live most of my life. I do like to enjoy food from time to time, and so this week we are gonna have Emo's pizza. It's not really that bad. So today for lunch, I'm making protein muffins and breakfast bowls. I didn't get to make them last week, so I'm gonna make them today. And then tonight, we're gonna eat out. Probably Chick-fil-A or Cane's. I might grab a salad. We have a softball game, and then we have to go to get both kids fitted for their travel team uniforms. So we probably won't even get done with that until like 7.30, quarter to eight. And uh, it's about 25 minutes away, so we're just gonna grab something to eat on our way back. Cool, whatever. I'm gonna drink my water today. I'm gonna get a walk in today. I'll drink extra ketones, and we are gonna be good to go. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get up for lunch. We're gonna do that triple berry chicken garden salad. I'm really craving it, so I'm really excited for that. My brother gets into town tomorrow afternoon, and then tomorrow night, they're gonna come to Kyla's softball game, and then we're gonna have Emo's Pizza. Those of you who are not from St. Louis, have you ever heard about Emo's Pizza? Just wanna know. like. It's only in St. Louis. People call it the cardboard pizza. It's made with Provel. Um, it's thin, it's, some people love it, some people hate it, but it's a St. Louis thing and that's what my brother wants. And so we'll come back to our house on Tuesday after the game, have some pizza and toasted ravioli and Provel bites and then um, they'll go and um, get all settled in at my mom. Wednesday, we are going to the zoo. So I'm really excited about that. It's the last nice day before the rain hits and the weather changes. And I don't know if you guys have ever been to the St. Louis Zoo, but it's free and there's a ton of animals. It's like the best free zoo that you could ever go to. So if you're ever in the area um, and you're looking for stuff to do, go to the St. Louis Zoo, please do. It's awesome. So because we're doing that, um, I'm sure we're gonna take off kind of early. So I'm gonna make a protein snack box. Um, I might even go live and make it with you guys Wednesday morning, but I just take like a small tackle box and I just put low carb and protein friendly um, like grab and goes in there and I'll just kind of snack on that while we're at the zoo and then Wednesday night we're going to do fried egg sandwiches. So I'm really excited about that. Thursday I'm going to pick up a rotisserie chicken at Sam's and um, I'm just going to make a garden salad with it. We have football at or no we have softball at one o'clock so it's our first round of district. Softball at one o'clock and then football is at 6 30. So basically we're going to go to softball game. From the softball game we're going to come back to the high school and we're going to uh, volunteer and serve the football players their dinner then from there we'll come home let the dogs out and then we'll head to uh because it's an away game so we'll head the stadium and um so we're gonna get chick-fil-a after football so that's just chick-fil-a is right there i know we can go i know we all like it so we're gonna grab chick-fil-a thursday after football friday morning um no plans with my brother uh it's probably gonna be like a sleep in for them kind of lay low so here i'm gonna make stuffed meatloaf you guys ever had my stuffed meatloaf my lazy keto stuffed meatloaf it's so easy to make you guys and it's really really good and the combos that you can make are crazy there's so many because you can pick whatever flavored cheese you want and then you can pick whatever flavored pork rind you want so we will probably do pepper jack um stuffed meatloaf which we will do pepper jack cheese and then we will do hot and spicy pork rinds as our binder so we're gonna do stuffed meatloaf and veggies for lunch um and then for I'm gonna put broccoli soup in the crock pot. It's cold and rainy on Friday. Um, so broccoli cheese soup in the crock pot, and then we'll have that for dinner. Tentative softball game. And when they win on Thursday, 
they will play on Friday. So um, broccoli cheese soup will be great to come home to after playing out in the cold and rain. So that's that. Um, Saturday, we are just busy. Um, my brother and Austin are going to Six Flags and I'm not sure when they're leaving. So we're just gonna do deli sandwiches and burnt lunch on Saturday. We'll just use keto bread. We'll get deli meat. Um, I'll get a bunch of fruit at Sam's on Thursday with chicken. So strawberry, blueberries, blackberry, grapes, and mandarin oranges. Uh, maybe I'll just throw it all in a bowl and make a fruit salad, um, but that's what we will do on Saturday. My brother and Austin will be gone. Um, Kyla is going to another homecoming, their boyfriend. Um, a couple years ago, had a new high school that was built um, in our town. So that's four that we have now. But a lot of the kids were separated last year when they started high school. And so Kyla and Chase were invited by some friends to come to their homecoming and catch up with everybody. So they're really excited about that. Um, so they will have homecoming on um, Saturday night. Um, so Dee and I are going to grab something out. The boys will be at Six Flags. Kyla, they're going to do like a dinner with the group. So it'll just be Dee and I. And we will, I don't know, go to Old Smokehouse. We'll go to Sushi AI. Um, I'm not really sure where we'll end up, but we're going to go out. And then Sunday is the football watch party. And so um, it's literally going to be in like the 50s on Sunday. And so we're doing um, an open house. Anybody can come. I told Austin, I was like, invite some of your football buddies. Um, let's just like hang out at the house. We'll have tons of food. We'll watch football. It'll be a lot of fun. So we're making chili, regular red bean chili. Um, I'm making low carb white chicken chili. We're making buffalo chicken dip. I'm gonna have a veggie tray. I'm gonna have a meat and cheese tray. We're gonna make some desserts. I'm probably gonna do like a dump cake in the crock pot. Um, make some cookies um, and just snack kind of all day. So um, that's that and then Monday, is the last day that my brother's in town. So we're planning on maybe going to the winery. Um, Kyla may have softball and um, then he leaves on And then um, then we're back to like reality. But that's what my week's kind of looking like. And I have a good balance, you guys. Um, I focus on five habits every day. Drinking water, moving my body, some sort of fasting, the way I eat, which is lazy keto. And um, I drink ketone, the supplement that I drink every single day. And so the goal is to hit all five of those. But if I only hit three or four of those in a day, I'm still winning the day, right? So um, on the days where I know I'm not eating low carb, like on the Emo's day tomorrow, Tomorrow night I'm just gonna drink more water I'm gonna make sure that I get my walk in and I'm gonna drink extra ketones I'm also gonna make sure that my eating window is a little bit smaller so like for example we're doing a berry chicken garden salad so I'll probably have that around like 12 30 1 o'clock so I'll kind of just push my starting time to eat a little bit further out and then we will have emos kind of later like after the game so like probably by the time we order it and get it it'll be in the seven o'clock hour and I'll just try to get done by eight so then I'm still eating in that eight hour window drinking water um, and doing all the things Does that make sense so the idea is to just create a realistic schedule that you can follow every single day. Nothing about those habits will change. The goal is just to be a little bit better tomorrow than I was today. I'm supposed to be a little bit better today than I was yesterday. Um, and so, like I said, if you create a list of five habits, which is what I teach all of my customers in the P5 project, create a list of five habits, all right? And then just work on hitting on those habits every single day. No day, every day for the rest of your life. You have to make sure that you have a good mindset around that. And then um, just take on one day at a time. Now I say the most successful people have a plan. So every weekend I sit down and I look at my schedule for seven days. I look at what we have going on. I manage those seven days and I get what I need for those seven days, all right? And then once I have a plan in place and I know what we're gonna have every day and I know what my daily habit list is, then I wake up every day and I focus on that day. Does this all make sense to you guys? Hopefully it does. So that's what I got going on. I already posted my meal plan last night. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. If you want any of the recipes, just put them in the comment um, and I will link them to you. But most of the time, most of these have already been, um, been posted. So like, for example, if you wanted my stuffed meatloaf recipe, all you gotta do is put in the search engine of Facebook bar, stuffed meatloaf Mel Hump, and then um, it'll show anytime I've talked about stuffed meatloaf, and the recipe will be found there. So if you don't want to wait on me to send it to you, uh, you can always use the search engine on Facebook, whatever specifically you're looking for, and then add my name at the end, Mel Humphrey. And my posts that are connected to that will come up. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does.